Hey YouTube, nice to see you again. So, the GMC is down, it broke. We have a check engine light, the thick noise, the coda I'm getting, it's uh, related to the fuel trims. So what do you think it is? What do we expect? Yeah, uh, you already know it. We gotta do the DOD, the displays on the man lifters. So I'm gonna check it and we'll see how it goes. So as you know, this is not news. This has been happening for many years. So I'm gonna take the valve cover, make sure that uh, the lift is down. And boom, bank two. Let's see how this goes. Okay, my friends, easiest way to check uh, if you got a collapsed lifter. See, I'm not getting a misfire, but I'm getting a, a fuel train bank uh, code uh, right here. You can touch him. See, this one is nice and fully. This one's two. This is cylinder number two. This is number four. That one's tight, but this one's tapping. You can feel the tap. Tap, 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 tap. So that's an easy way to check it, so you don't have to be cranking the engine or whatever. You're not gonna lose much oil. Look, see. It's a pretty GM, you know, it's a pretty standard GM procedure. I'm gonna take the the intake, I'm gonna take the head, and all that's involved. I'll show you a little bit. There is plenty of videos showing you how to remove here and there. I'm just going to the basics. It's cylinder number four, that valve, intake. All right. So, on years 2004 and above, make sure you uh, get ready to replace the, well not replace, but remove the, uh, the high pressure lines and injectors on older models through thin and down. You know, it's only an injector, you just unplug it and the head comes off. So, heads up. All right guys, the work continues. A uh, little trick. It's always good to save a little time. So if you don't want to take these 15s out or if they're corroded and you just want to save the hustle, strap tie it and you'll have clear, you know, plenty of space to take the head out. All right. Okay guys. Here you have it, the head's out. I gotta check the cam. The rollers on the on the lifters weren't bad, but you'll come across a case where you see a vent valve rod. And then you'll, you know, people will tell you you just replace the, the rod and you should be all set. Well, I took the lifters out. This is cylinder, cylinder number two, and this is cylinder number four. You know, in height, they look alike but see how they're not straight this one's not and this one is worse check that out you always gotta make sure you check your lifters and it doesn't hurt to take the head off and you know confirm these things are like 60 bucks a piece if you got a bend uh, a bend valve rod it's because this thing is failing um let me see if i can show it to you better this thing is all messed up. Can you see? It's all shifted out of place. So this is a future, this is a future catastrophe waiting to happen if I just replace that rod. There's the head, carbon buildup as usual, thanks to the GDI. And, yep. Can't wait to have it done and get back to work. Okay guys, uh, so this is the new stuff. Gasket set from uh, Ultra Power. Uh, it's a decent brand, I guess. Anyways, um, head bolt, thermostat, 
I would recommend that. Sometimes they overheat, sometimes they undercool. Uh, I'm gonna do the four lifters. I don't wanna take any chances on those old ones. Of course, a push rod, brand new from GM. It's like $5, new biggie. Also, uh, this will have to be taken care of. Apparently, whoever put this motor together before me kind of twisted it and left it like that. It didn't even take me anything and it just fell off. I don't like to tap it, to, uh, reel it, weld it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, the head's cleaned up now. The engine's also cleaned up. Ready to go, I gotta take those push. The, 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 whatchamacallit, the lifters, the, the regular lifters. Oh, word of advice. Once you take these uh, heads off, you know, I don't have a fancy machine or anything, or I don't want to take the valves off, but you can surely clean the uh, the valves, the carbon buildup on the valves. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see it, but I had a decent chunk on cylinder number two. And, uh, okay, let me see, it was, Cylinder number two had a big glob of uh, carbon buildup. The rest of them were okay, not too much. And on the other side, it was mainly one and three. One and three had a lot of carbon buildup. Reason why the EVA tubes fall right under those, right on the, on the, on the manifold. It's right by uh, cylinder number three, by one, and over here by two, I'm not really, well, it's got the breather. So anyways, one, three, and eight, there was a lot of buildup. I don't, I, I would say, you know, uh, check your engine. It could be different, but on mine, these three were really built up. I, I would say an eight of an inch thick buildup. Um, other than that, um, let's keep going. Alright, you do. I'm gonna take the welding way. Hopefully, it works out nice. I don't wanna. I don't feel like drilling. Let's try this out. Get a nut. Line it up. Weld it. Simple as that. Don't feed your wire too much. Make sure you get it hot enough. That will create heat. And hopefully. If you, if you still have the plugs, make sure you don't crack them. Be careful. I think we got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, friends, we got it.
Look at this. I can't even use it. I can't even put it back. <laughs> How about that? Will we use it? Yes? No? Put it in the comments. Nah. See? Nice and clean. No head damage. No plug damage. Ready to go back. All right, guys. So now, when putting your uh, your lifters back in, always remember these trays wear out. So make sure yours keeps your lifters at least to hold them. Because if this wobble, if this don't hold them, they'll flip. And if they flip, there's a roller that rolls against the cam. If this goes sideways, you know what that means. So make sure your trays are always good. They're not expensive. Just replace them. All right. All right, guys, I finally finished. It runs amazing, quiet, nice and steady. No more misfires. It's not like I had any back, you know, before. But I did have that uh, fuel trim uh, coat. Now it's all taken care of. And that's that. So I hope this video helped you out with some tips. And yeah, don't buy a GM if you're not ready to do something like this. Give it a thumbs up, comment, just subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> nice and quiet. Hey guys. So, a follow up for this job. The AFM lifters. So I drove the car for, a, I mean the truck, for a few miles. Well, wouldn't say a few miles, a few days. And now guess what? Tick, 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 it's back. Same bank, bank two. I figure, what the heck, you know the FMs are brand new. Did they go bad? Not enough old pressure? Well, check engine, I came back on. I have a... Uh, Catalytic converter uh, below efficiency and a rich coat, which means a lot of fuel is dumping into the cat, which means a valve is not opening properly, most likely intake. This is a direct injection motor, so it injects the fuel that it requires. But if the valve is not opening all enough, you're not gonna get the right ratio. So I went to check it out and yeah, cylinder number eight intake valve this bastard went back after i finished the job so there you have it i'll post another video after i finish it the process is the same just different lifter so yeah is that luck or what fuck gm <laughs> i tell you these lifters and shit come on can they do something good about it? The newer motors got 16, not six, not eight, 16 AFM, the on-demand uh, lifters. They gave them a part number, a different part number, an updated one, but it's the same thing. Oh God, trucks nowadays are not made like they used to. I swear, I got a Ford truck not saying that you know I like all Fords, but that's my 2003 and I like it. That's the last year I did like it. Before the three valve Triton and before all that turbo and blah blah blah. The freaking thing's got 230,000 miles. The engine, what have I done? Starter, alternator, coils, spark plugs. Uh, transmission yeah of course 
up to 200,000 miles. It's not a biggie. Um, manifold uh, gasket and uh, a manifold, you know, maintenance. And the thing keeps trucking. I mean, it's it's rotting like 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 any Ford, but keeps working. It keeps running. Anyways, to make a long story short, I want to be replacing the lifter. Hopefully that'll take care of these uh, issue and I can drive this truck carefree. Um, yeah, let me get to it. So here's the update. In fact, one of the um, lifters was pretty bad. The, uh, apparently the pin broke and the hydraulic part just blew up. When I was gonna take it apart, I just put a magnet and it was like a couple of pieces. And um, I replaced all that. I've been driving the truck, engine runs the way it should, but all that contamination did mess up my cat. The readings are a little bit off, so check engine like stays on. I'll figure that out later. I'll I already passed the mission, so I'll just wait. Uh, for the most part, the truck is running great. So, yep, there you have it. A GMC Sierra with the AFM and regular lifters. Hey. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.